Good evening, guys. So, as promised, uh, I told you that I would bring back some information for uh, the young man that I had on my live on yesterday, uh, Landon San Yang, and also uh, for any other uh, youth, because I know there are plenty of youth over in the Gambia who may have the same problem that... Uh, I'm not going to say problem, I'm going to say challenge. The same challenges that uh, Landon Sang Yang have uh, with um, finding uh, scholarship money um, to help him with uh, starting college. And uh, I spoke with this young man and it sounds like he has a bright future, but he needs a hand up. Um, so, um, I told him to send me a recording and, um, something from the college that, um, you know, would, would be proof for the viewers to see that he actually is signing up for college and that he actually needs the help, um, that he's asking for. Okay, um, but before we do um, the, uh, we put the recording uh, along with the video together and post, I also wanted to share with you guys that I was a international exchange host mom. And what that is, um, for people here in the U.S. Um, is you host students from all over the world. Um, they come to live with you and they come here to learn English or to go to college and they stay with you. Uh, the programs normally give the students a stipend for them to stay with you uh, and also sometimes they give the host parent as well depending on what um, program you're signed up with, uh, they give you a stipend, you know, to offset the cost for you hosting. Um, so I thought that I would, uh, bring that to you guys' attention. If you guys are not going to, um, you want to help, um, and you don't know how, you have no idea how to help, those are uh, also some uh, programs that uh, if you have a spare bedroom, because you have to have a spare bedroom in order for you to qualify for uh, bringing students over to the U.S. To, for them to help them get their education. Okay, so if you guys, um, maybe you say, I, you know, I don't want to go to Africa, but I do want to... Uh, do something to help the students uh, over in the Gambia or in some part of Africa. Um, there, there are programs or, you, you know, there's uh, African uh, descendants all over the world, actually. <laughs> you know, in, in Cuba, in, in Argentina, um, Brazil. I mean, there's, there's students all over the world with African descendants, you know, ancestry. So... Um, if you want to become an international exchange host mom, I did it for, or dad, I did it for four years and I absolutely loved it. Of course, it was after I raised my seven kids and they were all grown and gone. Uh, I was going through empty nest syndrome and I loved it. I, I, I you know, I absolutely love it. I, I still stay in contact with all, all 40 students that I, you know, they're on Facebook or WhatsApp, and um, I keep up with the students that came to live with me within those four years, yes, um, and I absolutely loved it. So, here are some of the programs that um, you can look into, okay? Um, AYUSA, uh, Education First, that was a program that I was involved with, I and also I was involved with um, the YES program um, and, and AYUSA um, through, that was ran through the State Department. 
Okay. So uh, those are some of the programs, but they have many, many more. All you guys have to do is go on to um, the uh, Gambian uh, Embassy uh, website or um, well, the U.S. website um, that's in the um, in Gambia and the exchange programs or just Google and um, they will um, the programs will will come up also um, the Gambian students okay you guys you all c can also do the same thing you can Google uh, some of the uh, international exchange programs and um, like uh, uh, for the State Department in, uh, in, in Gambia, um, you guys can um, uh, Google and uh, they have Fulbright scholarships for um, you guys. So they have all kinds of scholarships. Go to the Gambia website. I mean, go to the um, USA Embassy website that's in the Gambia. Okay, um, and you can get that information um, off the website and you can apply. Just research the international exchange programs, cultural exchange. Um, they have master's programs, um, undergrad programs that you can um, be involved in. Okay, uh, so just Google, do your research and don't be afraid to apply. And they have all kind of student visas so go on there and apply for uh, some of these programs that you can you know take advantage of I'm not sure that that the, um, they talk to you guys about that um, in your uh, secondary schools about the different programs that um, that are available to you but they are available to you. You can go on the embassies or different embassies, wherever you, uh, try all of them. Try all of them. And just apply for, uh, you know, those of you who do not have the funds or have not been able to um, get scholarship help or find a sponsor, don't give up. Go on the websites and Google and try to get into the international uh, exchange programs where you can receive funds to go to school. Don't be afraid. Um, so, like I said, this is a big world. So, check the embassies out. You have your, your grades, your letters, or whatever, and you just apply and you just keep applying if they turn you down try it again okay so um let's see with that being said i believe that's all let's see what let's say that i got one more thing oh yes and there was another one um it's called their world global youth um ambassador program and that's from eight to ages 18 to 28 years old so you got a nice little window in there from 18 to 28 um, you can uh, get into this program it is an international program a global program so guys you guys try to get into some of these programs so that you know you can get the education that you desire okay um, they also have programs through the UN, the, if you want to be a nurse, they have programs in Ghana, guys. So, I mean, it's a lot of programs out there for you guys to uh, research and get into if you do not have the funds. Just because you don't have the funds, it does not mean that you can't go and uh, get an education. Also, um, to all of my seniors, who uh, are looking for something to do. You want to give back to the Gambia or to the students in the Gambia or anywhere on the continent. You just want to do something on, um, on the continent, in the motherland. Here's your opportunity, okay? 
uh, you have many, many students that are in need of uh, sponsorship, scholarship money to help them through college. Um, the Gambian College is very inexpensive. I'm talking about for U.S. It's expensive for the Gambians, but it is not expensive for USA stu students or uh, uh, people in the West. Their college for one year uh, is less. It, it's less than one of our paychecks. Okay, so. Um, the whole year I calculated yesterday was $700 for the entire year. So if you guys, um, and like I was saying on yesterday, um, I, I know things are tight over here in the States too, but um, uh, uh, Landon San Yang, he needs um, 10,000 Delossies, which is 500 U.S., um, if 10 people can just donate $50 to him, then I'm sure he would greatly appreciate it. And so will I. Um, I always, when I'm over in the Gambia, I always try to help as much as I can. I know you guys have heard a lot of things, uh, which is derogatory, and I do apologize for that. Um, but everybody, you can't group everybody. Just like we don't want to be grouped over here in the, the States and all over the world. Because you know how they do us. They try to group us. So just like we don't want to be grouped, don't group them. Okay? Um, do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. Okay? And um, also... Uh, you guys, I'm going to be putting a clip in with this video of uh, Landon uh, uh, San Yang uh, asking for help himself. I thought it would be best if he would come to you guys and ask and also show proof that he is, you know, in fact, getting ready to enroll in college. So he did send me a video and uh, proof. Um, and then you guys, uh, I'll put in the description, uh, his direct number and you guys can, um, contact him. Okay. So God bless you guys. If you all have, um, the background and grant writing, um, uh, professional fundraisers or whatever, um, I have a nonprofit organization, um, right now we are not active right at this point, but it will be active again very shortly. Um, and so, um, and that's only because sometimes you burn out and, um, you know, you have to get the right people on the board to, to really want to fundraise and to really help out and help, uh, help you to move things forward in a business nonprofit is a business just like any other business it take funds to run it so um so yeah so um if you're interested in you know helping the people over in the gambia um you can scroll down any of my youtube channels and you can look at some of the things that i have done i everything is on my channel but you will find me over in the gambia in the village doing some things okay and on my facebook page global mission society so um and under my name tina thompson okay so um yeah and and, and i got receipts so um for the things that i've done and i have articles so uh for the containers and some of the things that i've done back in the village that i have adopted my ancestral my ancestral uh, home and uh, so yeah uh, I love the Gambia and Gambia's people and guys uh, I thank you guys for this time and your kind attention to this matter um, I bid you guys speed and those that have the heart to give please give and help this young man and help the young people that are striving to be productive uh, citizens over in the Gambia. 
thank you and God bless you all. Okay, my name is Lane Esanya. I'm a student of this year graduate 2024. I'm from senior school, heading to tertiary school, tertiary institution, which is the Gambia College. So I'm here looking for help sponsors to pay for my uh, Gambia College. Because I told my mom about it, she said she cannot afford it. And my dad was late since my grade nine. The time I told her the amount she told me, if I told is that then come back to me because I cannot afford it. I told her wait for a minute, uh, for a weeks. I let me go and look for sponsors. If I have it, then I continue with my education. And if I don't have it, then I can come back. That's why I'm looking for sponsors. And if I have some sort which will be very helpful for me. It will help me to further my education into another institution. It will be very helpful for my life and my mom too.